What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I bring you a few interesting things you may have missed from the Destiny Rise of Aya stream as well as the trailer and a few other things I found on the Bungie website. Now the Rise of Iron expansion comes out on September 20th this year and I have covered all things that you need to know in a video which I posted yesterday. If you guys do want to check that video out I will link it in the video description. Okay so let's start with a few images which we have seen on the Bungie website, images of gear and so forth, things that you can actually piece together. It's like Bungie are teasing us, so piecing them together is what I did, and we get a few glimpses of some exciting loot. First off, look at this thing right here. To me, this looks just like the Kostov, if that's how you pronounce it. That is the first weapon you obtain when you start your journey into the Destiny universe. We also saw this in the trailer, which I will point out when we get to that. Maybe this will be a new version of that very weapon, because it does have a very unique design. Maybe it will return as an exotic, who knows. Another weapon we see is this very unique looking heavy machine gun. This very well could be a new exotic weapon. I mean just look at it, it looks an absolute machine. Next up we have these two weapons, one a shotgun and the other one a fusion rifle. Although not confirmed, I believe these will be new vanguard weapons. Not sure why to me, they just scream vanguard. Here we have a scout rifle. Future Walker all day long. Next up we have this Amalum weapon with weird markings on the back. Now there is word of there being new foundries and maybe even a few new factions. But in fact my theory on this weapon may even seem even crazier. But I think personally these are somehow Fallen, Raid or Siva related and here's why. Take a look at this scout rifle also. Basically the same weapon and it has the same markings but this one's markings are red. And it also looks as if it's being mutated somehow. The wires on the back of the gun are very reminiscent to those of what we see on the peg leg drugs, the mutant drugs. Take a look. I think these are somehow related. Now I ain't saying they're red weapons, as you'd think there'd be some sort of unique design, like all red weapons from the past. But in my opinion, they're definitely related to Sivas somehow. Now there are a few other weapons which we see in the trailer which do have these markings too, which I'll pinpoint when we get to the trailer. Okay, so moving on and let's take a look at a few of the armors from these mishmash of images from the Bungie website. Here we have Titan armor and you actually see this in the trailer too. This armor, I have no idea what it is or where it's from at this moment in time. I mean, it's hard to pinpoint. Definitely a new unique look though. Here we see that Trials of Osiris armor looking sexy on the Hunter. And then we have this Warlock rocking armor which no doubt is tied directly in with the DLC. For sure you'd think it was Iron Banner gear due to its markings, but seeing as this whole DLC is more or less us becoming the new Iron Lords, I believe it could be Endgame gear of some kind. Maybe I'm wrong, but at the moment we ain't got much to go on. Okay, so for the last few images, take a look at these three ghost shells. The first, we can clearly see that this is a new monarchy ghost shell, which is epic and about damn time we got faction ghost shells. The next goal shout is a weird one. The markings on it don't really seem similar to those what we've seen on our modern weapons, but are definitely something we ain't seen before. Definitely unique in itself. It's almost as if it's custom, kind of like an army camo on it. Now the next goal shout makes my brain tick. Look at this thing. To me it screams warm mind, Rasputin, Siva. Somehow I know all this shit is connected. But what is this thing? I could give you guys a million theories on this, but I don't really want to bore you. All I know is it looks damn epic. Okay, so let's move on to the Rise of Iron trailer. Now there are a few hidden gems in this trailer which are definitely worth talking about. Okay, so at the 33 second mark we saw another weapon wearing the same marks of the Amalan Scout Rifle I showed you just. This weapon is a shotgun and it's on the back of the Titan on your left wearing that mysterious armor. At 111 in the trailer, we see that very tight in gear, but a much better look at it. Notice the logo on that right shoulder, very interesting. We also get a great view of the new Hunter Trials of Osiris armor which I showed you earlier. Looks insane. Now at around 117 we get a little footage of the raid. What's interesting here though is not the actual raid footage, but the gear these six guardians seem to have. A lot of it are weapons and armor we can obtain now in game. Now I have picked up on this because a lot of people are wondering about weapons and armour of now and how they will play a part in year 3. Unlike year 1 to year 2, I do believe our gear we have at the moment won't become unneeded. I'm certain that whatever the new light level increase is, all of our current year 2 gear will be available to infuse to that maximum light score. 
Hence why at this part in the trailer we are seeing gear of now. I mean I just thought I'd mention that. Moving on, and this is very interesting, I believe it's basically the confirmation of Faction Sparrows. Here we get a brief glimpse of Guardians patrolling the new area on Sparrows. If paused at the right time, you can see this what's on screen now. Look at the pan on that Sparrow, identical to the new Monarchy Ghost Shell I showcased earlier. You can't really argue with it. Next up, around that 128 mark, we see a brief clip of that mutated Amalan weapon in action. Now this could be me, but look at the way it shoots. Is it just me that sees this thing kind of powering up? You can even hear it. I will shut up for a second and turn up the volume. Check it out people. Really interesting in my opinion. And to be honest, that's basically it from the trailer. Now onto the stream, now the stream itself didn't really show much that we didn't see in the initial trailer. They talked more about the details of the new expansion, which like I said I have already covered in the video, which is linked in the video description. But they did show this image on stream, which was not a part of the trailer. Here we see the same Titan, Warlock and Hunter in their sexy ass gear. But notice the heavy weapon the Hunter is holding, the one I speculated earlier could be a new exotic. Also look at the weapon the Titan is holding, it's the Kostov, absolutely insane. But other than that, I believe everything else has been covered. But if I have missed anything interesting people, please let me know down below in that comment section. Also let me know your opinions and the theories I have made in the video. Hope you enjoyed the video, do smash that like button, I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Always in the wrong